So if you've been looking for a way to make your camera webcam look better, you probably run into this, whether it's a Camlink 4K or just the standard Camlink. Um, and what it allows you to do is connect something like this, which is a mirrorless camera, or even a DSLR full, uh, full frame camera, uh, to act as a webcam. And the results are usually outstanding. It makes your video look really good, your webcam look really good, and, and your stream look that much better. Um, but you're currently looking at me through a Logitech C920, which is a pretty old webcam and it still looks pretty decent. So if you're on a budget and you need to connect your, you know, your Nintendo Switch to, to the computer to stream, why not use something you already have and just stick to your webcam? Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take the Camlink 4K and connect a video game device such as a Switch or a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox to your computer to be able to stream or capture gameplay uh, with what you currently have. So this is what the camera looks like. It lo looks almost like a USB stick. On one end you have the USB uh, plug and on the other end you have the HDMI plug, so uh, port. So let's just look down here. We have the HDMI cable from the Nintendo Switch that will connect on this end. And then this other end will connect into the computer, ideally into USB 3.1. Do not use USB 2.0. That just won't be good enough. Uh, so that's it. So before we get started, I want to make sure that we have uh, a checklist of all the things we are going to need. We're going to need the Camlink or Camlink 4K. That's one thing we're going to need. We're going to need a Switch system or an Xbox or a PlayStation for the purposes of, of, our, of us. We're going to use a Switch. You're going to need some kind of HDMI cable to connect the Switch to the Camlink. So let's build that up. So some kind of use uh, HDMI cable. You are also going to need obviously power to your, for your console. Then you're going to need a controller. So on the hardware side, that's what you need. On the software side, you're going to need OBS, which is a streaming and also a capturing uh, software. So it's what most streamers kind of currently use. Uh, there are other options out there, such as Streamlabs, which is kind of like a version of OBS. Uh, and then you're also going to want to download the Camlink software. So you're going to want to download the Camlink drivers in case your computer doesn't have it. And it goes without saying you need a computer. You need some kind of either a Windows PC or a Mac. Okay, so this is what it looks like once you have the Camlink connected. You have a USB 3.0 extension, so that connects the USB on this end all the way to the computer. This just gives me a little more room because there's not a little room back there. And then you have the Camlink device, and then you have the HDMI cable running all the way down to the Nintendo Switch. Again, that's all you really need to do. I mentioned previously that you're going to need two pieces of software. So the first one is at obsproject.com. You're going to download a Windows version or the Mac version of OBS Studio. This is the actual software that lets you stream or record your video. Then you're going to also go to elgato.com forward slash en forward slash gaming forward slash downloads. Again, I will post the link down below. And then you're going to download the 4K capture utility for Windows. What this is going to allow us to do is just to make sure that you have the drivers connected for your camera and allows us to um, take OBS out of the equation, it allows us to see, see the feed directly from the switch into the computer uh, and make sure that that's working before we go into OBS. So make sure you download the latest versions of both of those softwares, install it so you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. Okay, at this point you should have everything installed, you should have all the software ready to go and you should have the cam link connected to the computer, the Nintendo Switch powered on, make sure you power it on, that's very important, and make sure you have your controller connected. We're going to start up OBS. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you run it as administrator just to make sure if there's any specific things or uh, access that the software requires that it has it. Especially for the purposes of when you're starting out, you wanna make sure that everything's working. So OBS can be a little intimidating, uh, especially if you never used it before. This is just a lot of controls, a lot of different windows that if you don't really know what to do, that's okay. Uh, this is not an in-depth overview how to use OBS. This is more of how to get you to get started using your Nintendo Switch, right? we will be creating another uh, tutorial on how to do that. So you're gonna create a new scene and we're just gonna call it test scene, all right? In the test scene, we're gonna add a source. Remember, the cam link is connected to the computer as a video capture device, as a webcam. So what you're gonna wanna make sure is that when you add the device here on the plus button, 
that you choose video capture device as an option. You're not choosing game capture. Game capture is something that you're, if, if you're capturing a actual PC game running on that computer. So you want to make sure that you select video capture device. All right, we're going to call this testing Nintendo Switch. You can call it whatever you want. Okay, and then here you're going to see different options. Now we're going to select the CamLink 4K because that's the software that we're using. All right. Again, here looks like the Nintendo Switch is in turn on, so I just press the button and boom, it came alive. Now you should be able to see the preview here of the of the game. Um, make sure your controller is turned on, which I'm doing now, just to make sure that I'm able to control it. Okay, so I'm logged in, and everything looks good. I'm gonna hit OK. You don't generally need to mess with any of this stuff unless you really know what you're doing. And for our purposes, let's not even worry about that. Um, and that's it. You're Here's the feed coming from the cam link, the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's very easy, again, to, to make it work and connect it. Now, just real quick, I just wanted to go over a couple of things that you actually might run into, okay? So let's say in that screen you don't have uh, you don't have video, okay? It looks something like this. It's completely blank. You can do two things. The first thing is make sure you have power to your to your device, okay? The second thing, like in the case of Nintendo Switch, it falls asleep, make sure you press the power button to make sure that it turns on. Lastly, sometimes if you are using the cam link or if some other program is using the cam link, it doesn't really allow it allow two different programs to use the cam link at the same time. So you have to make sure that you close the other programs uh, as well. If that doesn't work, I'm going to show you now why you would use the capture device, okay, the capture software. If for some reason that also doesn't show up, you can try use the capture utility. What this allows you to do is allows you to take OBS out of the equation. So as you can see, you can kind of see the feed from the Nintendo Switch here in the capture utility, which allows you to have a nice view as to what's actually coming in directly from the cam link. So this is one way that you can also verify what's going on with your capture. And that's it. That's how you're able to use the cam link 4K or the cam link to as a streaming device for your computer. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. If there's any questions, if it doesn't work for you, if you're not able to capture the device, I'd be more than happy to help you. So leave a comment down below if you're having any issues. Thank you, and that's another video from UMX.